Alrighty, everyone. I'm so glad you're joining me here today. Today, I have a frightfully cute fun fold for you today. Um, I'm going to show you how to create what they call a TP card. Uh, some people call it a pyramid card. And um, it's just really awesome. I can't wait to show you how to do it. For those of you who just found me, uh, you don't know who I am. Um, my name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to help card makers by sharing uh, art design tips uh, in my card tutorials. Okay. Well, good morning, ladies. How are you all? I got Linda and Katie and Kim and Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Um, one more thing before I get started. Are you all a part of my VIP Facebook, private Facebook group? It's called Christina's Creative Stampers. It is different from my business page. My business page is uh, Creating with Christina, and it is um, open to the public. Anybody in the entire world can see anything on uh, Creating with Christina. But Christina's Creative Stampers is a private group. You have to ask a few, answer a few questions, and then um, I will approve you and let you into the group. And uh, we encourage each other to share pictures of our projects there. Also, um, if you ever have any questions, uh, people in the group love to help each other. So that is where we all should be hanging out. Okay. Um, and I'm going to encourage you, if you make today's fun fold, please go over there and share it on our group page. So, like I said, uh, this is a frightfully cute <laughs> fun fold, so you can guess what kind of stamp set I'm going to use. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Halloween is not especially a card making time. We don't, I mean, there we do send some Halloween cards out, but mostly uh, the paper crafting world and Halloween, uh, we make... Uh, projects for our home, maybe some banners, some cute decorations for parties. Um, there's a tradition of booing your neighbor, you know, where you leave some treats on their doorstep and you uh, ring the doorbell and run. <laughs> it's always fun to do. Okay, so um, so that is why uh, I want to share with you this project. This project, we're going to put a hanger on it so you can hang it. And I want to show you one that I made yesterday. I'm going to make today's a little different. But check out how cute this little guy is. <laughs> so this is what we call a teepee card. And we're going to put a hanger on it so you can hang it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So you're going to need some supplies. Let me switch my view to my overhead view here. Get that off. Also remember, all of the instructions, measurements, everything are over on my blog, Creating with Christina, okay? And it'll have the measurements, the written instructions, this video. Um, so this is the stamp set I'm using. And you all know I love kitty cats. I even have my black cat earrings on today for Halloween. And look how precious these guys are. <laughs> this, this one just cracks me up peeking. Or he's too big for the butt. How many of you all have cats? And do they not just love getting in boxes? It's just the funniest thing. Okay, and then I love this guy sneaking and peeking. You can put him on the pumpkin or on the edge of the card. Just really cute. All right, so that's the stamp set we're using today. Um, we're going to use the die set, the Hippo. Where did I put it? Uh, here it is. The Hippo and Friends die. If you don't own this one, this is a great one to have if you need lots of different shape, uh, label shapes. I love this as a type of a circle, but it's more than a circle. And then here you have this kind and then this kind over here. And they all layer. Um, so if you don't have, this is Hippo and Friends die. Okay. I'll be using that. What else am I got here? Um, oh my gosh, the cute Halloween DSP. Do you all have this yet? <laughs> <laughs> and I've made a little sampler here so you all can see it better. Um, all the backs of these papers are black and white, which is great. Um, on this card here, I used my uh, grape, gorgeous grape with the blender brush, and I made the candies purple. So it was this right here. Okay, pretty cool, huh? And then this polka dot one here, I used the uh, pumpkin pie brush and painted it or uh, colored it purple. I mean, orange. <laughs> All right, so, um, and I just love the color combo. I mean, who thinks about putting pink in your Halloween? But it's really flirty flamingo. It's not actually pink. Pumpkin pie, old olive, highland heather, flirty flamingo, and basic black are the colors that are in this. And just look how precious these skulls are and little bats and pumpkins and kitties, ghosts. So cute. 
All right, so that's the paper we're using. What else do we got? Um, vanilla, white, and black cardstock. That's pretty simple. And then I've got something else. This card, um, let me show you here. This card, you want to be able to open it up because if you have it like this, it won't it won't mail. I mean, it's three dimensional, right? So you can uh, put this little Velcro dot here and fold it like this and fold it like this. And now it fits in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, pretty cool. And if you uh, want, I have a link to uh, these Velcro dots on my blog. So, if you can't find them in your local craft store, I've got a link. All right, let's get started with this guy. So, we're going to need to prep the TP part, okay? Let's, let's get the TP part put together. And I'm making my TP black. And I've made some templates here for you to, so you can see and understand what I'm doing because black is really hard to see. So this is um, just eight inches by four inches, okay? And then we score it right in the middle and that's at four inches. So you have a four inch square on both sides. Then you wanna score it from the tip here down and the tip here down. So real simple, eight by four, scored in the middle, and then scored on the two diagonals. That's one piece. The next piece is a four by four square, and it is just scored right down the middle there, okay? To create the tent, you just simply uh, glue these two pieces together and then fold it and you have your teepee, all right? Let me do that, get out my scoring tool. Now, if you don't have the big scoring tool, you only have the, uh, cut and trim the what is this the stamp and trimmer that's okay it does have a scoring blade so this is my four by four and all you do is you line up the two points right where the score tool will go okay and hold it secure don't let it move and use your score tool and so that one's scored now this one you want to score at the four inch first so you'll know where the center is and like I said, this is really hard to see on the black cardstock, so that's why I did a white one. There will be a picture of that white template on my blog, so be sure to go over there and check it out if you can't remember all this. I like to um, put it all up for you so you don't have to take notes during the tutorial because um, it can be kind of confusing. All right, there we go. So now I have scored it all the way I wanted to score it. Our next step is to attach the DSP. Now, I've decided on the black and white striped DSP. All right, this here. And I've cut it just a scant smaller than four inches, so three and seven eighths. That way, um, when you attach it on here, there's a little room left for the folding. You know what, I think I scored, oh, I sure did, whoops. Hold it, got so carried away making my squares at four inches, I made these at four inches also. Not a problem, not a problem. So we're just going to take this, okay, and we're going to pull it up to the four and seven eighths mark, okay, that piece off. But then we've got to do it on this side. So we cut it on that side, so we need to do it on this side also. I'm gonna to have to flip it over. There we go. So we want this at four and seven eighths also. Okay, there we go. Now it'll fit, Now I'm gonna have to do these also. Sorry about that, I wasn't, wasn't paying attention when I was creating my squares. That's all right, okay. And then this, whoa, oh yeah, I gotta flip it over. <laughs> it's like, it's not working, okay, there we go. That one I might have cut too small. That's all right. That's all right. And one more. Here we go. So. Flip it over. There we go. And. Okay. Whoa, my scoring tool. Did you hear it go flying off the machine? Okay. Well, I don't need the scoring tool again, so I'll just find that later. All right, you can see this was um, where I had colored it. This came from this piece here when I'd cut it in half, but I'm using the other side now. All right, one side you don't have to put um, DSP on. So this piece here is gonna fold in like that. We're going to attach it here 
on this card like that. So we are going to have designer series paper here, here, and here. Oops. Then uh, this piece gets tucked underneath so you won't see it, okay? It's just three-sided. So let me get my adhesive out. There we go, and we're just going to, okay, not, not working for me this morning. Come on. Sometimes the adhesive pops off and it, yeah, you kind of have to, oh, come on, please, today. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. And this side. Okay. So we are going to put this right here. Very nice. Excuse me as I... All right, and then we're going to do these two. And I like to put the DSP on before I put the pyramid or TP together. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. It just seems to be a little easier to um, put the DSP on before you've put the TP together. Okay, and one more. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Like I said, um, want you to, uh, when you finish making yours today, did I get this one? Okay. All right. It doesn't matter. I was going to say, it's not quite <laughs> measuring up, but that's all right. Um, when you all make your TP, I can't wait to see them. I hope that you all will post them over on our Christina's Creative Stampers private Facebook group. And if you're not a member of that, just answer the questions and I will approve you um, probably later today. Um, I don't always, for some reason, Facebook doesn't, it like gives me... It tells me that someone wants, uh, has asked to be admitted like a couple of days after they ask. And I'm like, um, I, I wish they would tell me right away, but oh well. Um, okay, so now we're going to glue this together. And you do want to use something very strong. You want some glue. Oh, Linda says she has trouble with that adhesive roll. Yes, um, it's great adhesive, but you're right. Sometimes the roller just causes problems. Oh, I already made a mistake. I totally forgot. Um, yeah, this is going to hang down. And so I put glue here and I don't want glue there. Where's my adhesive? Where is my... I need my silicone mat. Oh, give me two seconds, you guys. Be careful when you're putting the glue on. I totally forgot this part. I tend to get so excited about making these cards that, and I don't follow instructions. Okay. So now when I put this on here, it's it's gonna stick to the silicone mat and I can clean it off easier. But right now, let me just get it on here. Okay. There we go. So you can see right there. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a handy wipe and just wipe that glue off. Um, it'll still be there a little bit, but it won't be too bad because you definitely want it to be completely dry before you try folding it and putting it in an envelope or it'll be stuck forever. All right, so I'm just, there we go. Okay, that's better. Now, fold it. Yeah, and you definitely don't want that to stick there. Okay, so we folded it. We're in there, all right. Okay, now fold this one in, okay, and fold this one in. So, and then you'll notice that when you put these two together, I found this out uh, yesterday, that when you try to fold it, see how it's, it really needs, this end needs to be shaved off just a hair, just a hair. So let me get out my trimmer again. Oops, put my glue bottle back together, okay. And like I said, just a hair hard. I'm just, so the blade is gonna go in that groove. I've just got it just a wee bit past the blade mark. Okay. There we go. And now when I fold it, it folds completely flat. Okay. So it just gives you a little room for it to fold in right there. Okay. All right, so far so good. 
Looks like this guy's not wanting to stick. Let's put a little glue over here. I think I forgot. <laughs> Come on. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. Okay. Yay. Oh. Don't put too much glue or it'll squish out. Okay. <clears throat> All right. There we go. Y'all like it? Yes, um, Christina, the, or Christine, uh, does I, a lot of people don't do Halloween, and that's fine. And another thing with this little kitty cat stamp set, I want you to see, it doesn't have to be uh, Halloween. Um, really, I've been this cute all nine lives. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the cats don't look scary at all. They're really cute cats. Um Anyways, so it can be used for um, all year long. It doesn't have to just be Halloween. And the pa and I love our Halloween paper. I want to point this out also, Christine, that this Halloween paper can be used all year long. Like this is really precious for baby cards, um, birthday cards, uh, the black and white side. Um, so this one, and of course candy is uh, children. Um, you can make that bright colors. So this, 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 and this one are all any time of year. Um, this one, I already pointed to that one. Yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to point that out to you, to all of you who, like you said, you don't do Halloween. That's okay. All right. This needs to have a Velcro dot. Now these Velcro dots, um, like I said, if you can't find them in your craft store and you want the little bitty ones, the three eights, um, this card, it really doesn't matter, but I have found that when I invest in the little ones, I can use it on a lot of different projects. Um, and they are just adhesive backed and I do have a link if you can't find them in your craft store on my blog. So as soon as that's up, all right. And so it's going to go right there. Ah, come here. Okay. Now that's the, the loop side. You got to make sure you get the correct. So this is the, um, the soft fuzzy side. And what I do is I put fuzzy to loop together, okay, whoops, and now I close the teepee and it'll land right where it should, okay, and then it opens up. <laughs> fun, huh? Awesome! I love this card. This is so fun. All right, you ready to decorate it? Let me get all this out of the way. All right, I got some cute decorations for you. Here we go. The first thing we're going to do is the the front. So um, you have to decide where your front is. And I've decided this is my front right here. Um, it Velcro secures in the back here. So this is my front. And I'm going to put this big one. The edges can hang over, okay? But if you have this edge hang over, also you need to be aware. So I want to show you that on this card. So see how I have those two bumping up next to each other and I didn't measure very well because when you try to open it, they're like touching each other. And, but anyway, just be careful. Just be careful when you're putting your card together. Okay. Oh, another thing, Christine, I've seen Christmas trees like this and I will definitely do this again when I start doing Christmas stuff. So where did I say my front was? Right here. So this is, this is going to be my front. Now I want to stamp. I'm going to stamp my, my tail says it's the twitching hour over to the right because I want my cat in the box to come over here, okay? So I need to make sure I have enough room. And I'm gonna get the dark, uh, gorgeous grape instead of the Highland Heather. It's easier to see, but they are pretty much the same color. Highland Heather is just a lighter shade of the gorgeous grape, okay? And right there. Close that up. Now, <clears throat> I'm do a little fanciness here. I'm gonna uh, stamp my cat on white and cut her out. She's so cute. Or he, I'm not sure if it's a girl or a boy yet. My kitty cats are boys. Um, I had a beautiful tuxedo cat just like this one. <clears throat> His name was Roulette. People go, that's an odd name. Well, he had a brother, a solid black brother, and I called him Blackjack. 
And everybody's like, Blackjack, well, what are you going to call his brother? And I'm like, well, Blackjack's kind of a gambling name. So we came up with Roulette. It just sounded so cute. That is how my cat Roulette got his name. Um, and yet I'm not much of a gambler, but I do like Las Vegas. <laughs> okay. The shape reminds me of a Star Trek insignia. Oh my gosh, it does, April, doesn't it? Yes, put it up on your shirt here. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now, another thing about the stamp set, and a lot of people were going, the box doesn't fit. It does fit, you all. It is got uh, bright white light shining on the box, and so that is why it's shaded funny. All right, so let me twist this so I can see it better. And the right side lines up perfectly. Okay, Oops, I'm getting a glare. And there we go. All right, and so this, let me pull this up. This white part here is the white light shining on the box, okay? Um, people were like, this doesn't work, what's going on? <laughs> so that's what that's all about. And quickly get my snips out. I know I'm talking a lot. Eeks, we're already 20 minutes into our show. Okay, quickly cut this guy. I probably should have made one already for y'all and switched out, but you know, y'all like having me talk. All right, so what else are we talking about? Um, do y'all have any questions? I, can, I can't really scroll while I'm cutting. But if y'all have any questions, this would be a good time to ask while I am fussy cutting. <laughs> Um, you all know it's celebration. If there's anyone new on here who uh, doesn't know anything about Stampin' Up! and their annual, well, it's not an annual sale anymore. This is our second time to have it, but we're having our huge celebration a second time this year. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's awesome. So you just purchase $50 from anything in any of the two catalogs, and your... Um, order will pop up a box that says you are eligible for a celebration item. So then you go over to the celebration brochure and you pick whatever item you want for free out of the brochure. Um, and if you uh, don't know anything of what I'm talking about, please message me. I will send you all the information. And if you don't have catalogs, please ask me for one. I love sending those out. Um, the only thing I ask is that you do place an order with me to cover the cost of shipping and the cost of the catalog because I don't want to charge you for a catalog. I would rather you just order from it. <laughs> so there we go. Almost done with Kitty. Little fat cat. <laughs> I just love how he's peeking out of the box. I think I love more that he can't fit in the box. He's so funny. All right. Whee! All right, all done with that. So that didn't take too long. Katie's gonna make another order tomorrow. Oh yeah, Katie, awesome. And Kim says her sweet dog is named after my favorite hockey player, Trevor Daly. So of course, so of course his name is Daly Trevor. Oh, that's cute, that's a cute name. Awesome. All right, so now this is going to go right here. I might have put, yeah, I should have put it up higher. You know what? Um, too late. I'll just put some stars over there. Okay. Um, where am I? And like I said, that's just going to go right there in the center. Make sure. Whoops. That's the Velcro side. So, what? this side, yeah. Well, goodness gracious, yeah, that's the Velcro side, so this is the front here. Good grief. Just call me crazy woman. Okay. There we go. And now put on my dimensionals. Ooh, we're going to need some little dimensionals for his tail. Itty bitty ones. You know, we have, we, and we actually have black backed dimensionals, which would work really great with this. Um, you don't see them um, when you see, when you go to the side of the image. Um, I'm not a big, I'm not particular about that kind of stuff, but some people are. Okay. My tail says it's the twitching hour. <laughs> Precious. All right. So the rest of it I did cut out already. So we didn't take all time making this. Um, Whee! 
see. Oh, and I also cut out some more little ones. I'll put those down in just a minute. Here is Have a Perfect Halloween, and I'm using the hippo dies there, and I put the little hat on the pumpkin instead of the little kitty cat sneaking out, and we just need to glue this guy on, okay? And now this one fits right inside here. He's not going to hang off. Whoops, excuse me. Not very much, at least. Okay. and then this one this one I left blank people were saying well where are you gonna write you know your name or your message so this one I made uh, so that you could write your name light a little message and then look at the little kitty cat peeking out I just love it so cute <laughs> all right and of course you'd want to sign it before you stick it on the card so you can write but I'm going to go ahead and stick it on here and like I said it just barely fits on there just like I said, if it does go over the side, that's okay. Um, just make sure it's not in the way of when you fold it, okay? All righty, and we're almost done. So there it is, and we're just gonna fold it like this and fold it like this. Oh, you know what? That is gonna be a problem. Yeah, because if you want to fold it closed, it's gonna need to be like that. All right, so there you go. It's all folded up, okay? And then it goes like that, okay, yay. Now, um, I had it hanging, and it's so easy to hang it. You just take a little thread, and if y'all haven't seen this pack, it's a pack of five neutral color threads. I love it, and you just need a little bit, not much, and then tie it together like so. Oh, come on. There we go. I might need my tweezers. I'm having difficulties here. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. All right, and just have our knot there. Then we just want to attach it inside here. And I have found that um, any adhesive will work. You just don't want um, here we go. you just don't want it to stick. So um, I use double-sided tape, uh, our tear and tape here, which is great. Whoops, get off of there. And just don't take the the waxy paper off. Okay, and I just put that right in there and just burnish it. Okay, and so now it hangs. <laughs> One last piece. I forgot these down here, so let me uh, put a dab of glue. So what do you guys think of this? You all going to try it? I sure hope so. And like I said, it doesn't have to be Halloween. It could be any year. This is just, you know, um, and if you go to Pinterest and put in TP card, Lord have mercy, you might get a little overwhelmed. <laughs> there are a lot out there. It took me forever to decide. I just knew I wanted to feature these kitty cats today. I just love these kitties. And I think from uh, most of my... Uh, uh, Funfold Fridays. Um, I'm going to probably be focusing on, well, I know I will be, uh, Halloween for a little bit because if you do, if you are into Halloween, you need to be making your Halloween stuff now. You won't have time. School has started, um, especially if you're going to make a whole bunch of treats for the school, for your kids' classroom, or for your grandkids, or your neighbors. You want to give yourself enough time. Okay, so, and we have quite a few cute Halloween things in our catalog right now. And this last one. All right, we are done. What do you guys think? I love this teepee card. Okay. So I'll show you this way one more time. There we go. It's the twitching. Oh, I forgot the stars. Oh, how can we forget the stars? Where are they? Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, <laughs> I was like, they're right there. Okay, so we'll put some orange ones on this one. I love these stars. These are so fun. Yeah, that definitely helps do something with that space up there. Come on. Mm. 
yeah so that's cute and I put stars on that one already and I put stars on that one already oh yay <laughs> Okay, remember, all the measurements, everything are up on my blog. Also, if you do put in an order, be sure to put this host code in. Um, that way I can send you a special gift in the mail right now. If you're ordering $50 or more, you put in the host code. I'm going to send you a retired stamp set. I'm trying to earn the incentive trip, so I'm trying to get my sales up. And so to help you, I'm going to be giving freebies away. And last but not least, if you do not have a holiday catalog, please ask me for one. Can't wait to see you guys on over on. Um, what am I trying to say? Over on Christina's Creative Stampers, okay? Y'all put your teepees up there, all right? <laughs> y'all have a great weekend. I can't wait to see you on Monday. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>